If you need a delicious and easy dinner idea for this week, Chef Plum has you covered. So he's showing us how to make a delicious Asian chicken salad. You know that mm. thing you order at the restaurant, but we mm. can make it at home. Hi, Chefy. Hey, guys. How are you? We're excellent on this Monday. How are you? I am living the dream. I, I'm so excited. It's beautiful outside, and I'm making a, a fun salad for you guys today. So who can be more happy about that? And it's a chick. It's a Chinese chicken salad. Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's a take on that, essentially. So it's one of those things that you probably have a lot of the stuff in the house for. And you know what the secret ingredient for this is? Ramen noodles. I knew it. Guys. Wait, I Remember have these? those. I have those. Does it matter if they're beef or chicken flavored? No, that's just a little packet thing. Don't even worry about that. Okay. So let me show you something. So maybe on a Sunday like me, you had one of these little rotisserie chickens for dinner you get from the grocery store. It's a great thing to have. Got a little leftover in the fridge. So I took some of that and I shredded it all up like this with my hands. Easy. Just tore it apart. Super okay. easy. Now, here's what we're going to do. The hardest part of this, Kara, is going to be to make the dressing. And we're going to do that right now. It's not as hard as it sounds like, okay? So the hardest part is I've got one of these little graters here and a garlic clove. If you want to use garlic powder, you certainly can, but I prefer to use fresh garlic in this. A little you, bit of garlic. You have, have like changed piece my of life. Ginger here, right? Like yeah. a little fresh ginger. I am now grating garlic and ginger because of you. I never knew you could do that. That now I'll actually. Yeah, do it's so it much easier, right? I didn't know that. I was like, oh, and all the chopping and this. But if all you have to do is go like this, I can do that. That's it, right? So I put some ginger. I put some garlic in there. There we go. That's the hard part. I'm gonna add a little rice vinegar. I'm gonna add about a about a uh, quarter cup or so of rice vinegar. I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of soy sauce here, like this, and then I'm gonna add a little sesame oil. Now, if you don't have sesame oil, you wanna use vegetable oil or something, that's totally fine as well. So, you talk, you hear me on the show talk all the time about seasoning food, uh, and while I, while I pour that oil, I'm just gonna spin it with my uh, whisk right here. I talk about seasoning food, but soy sauce is already very salty, so you don't need to season it. It's super salty as it is. Okay. There we go. That's our dressing. How hard is that? Was that equal right? parts of those three things? Just a third, a third, and a third, kind of? That's it. Okay. Yep, that's it. Keep it simple. And then you want to keep it smaller, you can do a tablespoon, a tablespoon, a tablespoon. I keep it all easy. Keep it the same measurement for all of it. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got this done now. Now, in this bowl, I've got a little bit of lettuce and some cabbage. I just kind of shred it up with my knife. And that you can buy that up, what we're gonna... already done in the store. They so, have those. Yes, you can do that too. You know, one of the things you can do is kind of a cheat. You can also buy those bags of coleslaw. You've seen those? Yeah. You can buy that and use that if you want. But I'm going to put that in here like this. I'm going to add a little bit of our dressing right on top, give a little toss around. And then what I do is I actually take the chicken and I'm going to put the chicken in there so I can toss it all up together like this. All right. So there we go. The sauce is in there. The chicken's in there. This, the, the, the greens and the cabbage are in there. Let's plate this guy up. Check this out. This is where you get kind of fancy with it if you want. I'm going to take this and put it on my plate like this. There we go. Beautiful. Now make it stack high, Scott. The higher it looks, the better it looks. That's All right, stack it high. All right, All I know right. that. You That's good. It. I'm going to add some of these little mandarin oranges. I oh, love yeah. mandarin oh, oranges. I love okay. mandarin oranges. I like to use a little peanuts, peanuts? on top. You, if you don't want to use peanuts, you can use almonds. There's so many different other things you could use, any kind of nuts. I like the crunchiness. I can tear off a little bit of cilantro and put there as well. Mm. And now, here's where we get really fancy. I've got that ramen noodle thing I was talking about, right? Yep. I'm going to break a piece of that off in my hand, just like this. And I'm going to crunch it up. Oh, you're not even cooking it. Put it right on top, it. just like this. Wait, you don't cook it? Not even going to cook it. Wow. Nope. It, it, you just not eat it like that, and that's okay? Wow. It's, they're, they're nice and crunchy right on top of there. And then if you want to, you can take a little radish, a little fresh radish like this, and finish it off with a few radish slices. You certainly don't have to. It's up to you. But if, look at this. If you want to, look at how beautiful is this. And now, here's a couple of things to note about this salad, right? This is one of the easiest things that you can make like this. Super easy, super delicious, very healthy. I like to finish it with a little bit of that dressing before we serve it. There we go. Mm. But there's no right or wrong here, right? That's the beautiful thing about making a salad like this. You want to use almonds? Use almonds. You want to switch this up and use romaine lettuce and maybe some salad mix or something like that, a little mescaline or spinach, you could do that. The chicken itself, whatever you have left over, you can use. Or if you just buy some uh, uh, like a chicken breast and want to boil it or roast it in your oven, that'll work too. There's no right or wrong here. There's so many great ways to make a delicious salad just like this, incredibly easy, using a lot of leftovers and things you already have in the house. And don't be afraid to get a little freaky with it and mess with some of the ramen noodles because we all have these, right? How do you shred the lettuce? Do you use that shredder thing that you, uh, you know, like a cheese grater type thing? I buy it shredded. I don't know. <laughs> You cut it up. Like this. Okay. Like this. But they literally have the packets of like or, already washed, yeah. you know, cabbage and coals. Like they, yeah. 
Right. You can see I cut it into smaller pieces like this. Whenever you cut stuff, a good tip I can tell people, whenever you cut stuff like this, cut it into pieces that'll fit in somebody's mouth. There's nothing worse than getting a big piece like something like this to eat. It doesn't fit in your mouth. So think about that when you're doing it. Make it so it fits inside somebody's mouth because we don't want to have to like disconnect our jaws to eat things. So keep it small. Make sure the pieces fit in your mouth, bite-sized pieces. And uh, you'll be good to go with this. This, All is, right. this is one of my favorite what, tips. We have wisdom what, from Chef Plum right bad. now. What's coming want, up for you? Sorry, go ahead. You don't want to disconnect oh. your jaw and pile high to make it look better. Exactly. <laughs> What's coming up? Pile high to make it pile high to make it look pretty. Hey, listen. Uh, over at CT Public, we are changing all kinds of food content. We're super excited about it. Seasoned is now going to be a great, it comes out once a month on, as a podcast, as well as on the radio on WNPR. But not only that, the new newsletter coming out with all kinds of fun stuff. Check it out at ctpublic.org slash food. Sign up, the newsletter. We're going to help you get through the holidays. We're going to help you get through any other month you have, any special days, birthdays. We're going to make it happen. Recipes, videos, all kinds of fun stuff. I can't tell you how fired up I am about this. All right. Thank Thanks, you, Chef. That's so easy. You guys are the best. Have a great Monday. You too. I could